point is to get students familiar with the environment at the SMS. We do have quite a unique learning environment here. We feel like one big family. It's important for us to help our students understand that when they first come. Inviting people in. Big ideas. Tonight is our Year 10 parents for next year. Coming into a school as different and unique as ours needs a bit of extra loving care. How does this environment work? Inquiry and investigation, innovation and creativity. How does this two-year central studies program? We found that there is a lot of support. And that's why we have staff members available through that transition night to answer these specific one-to-one -one questions. Good to see you on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then today is essentially kind of the first day of their career here at the ASMS. It's kind of to get students familiar with like the really big projects we have. We're presenting products that we've worked on for seven weeks through an expo presenting to our Transition Day students and visitors to the ASMS. Definitely to build strong relationships with existing students, especially the current year 10s. So I'm a mentor for the Transition Day students because I remember when I was like struggling to make friends, I was like, oh my gosh, am I ever gonna make friends and everything. Spend a day doing some really cool activities that we'll do when they come here. So what's your plan? I'm helping the students who are new next year figure out what's the best way to launch their rocket and how, they, how they're gonna go about it. There are no sirens, there are no doors, there are these large learning environments and we can facilitate so much with this, but it is new for a lot of these students. Or you can do it by trial and error. A lot of our students arrive on the first day uh, and you'll think they've been here for years because they just get on with the business. Over that side of the room. But there are students who do need a little bit of help, a little bit of coaching. We're not working as a team. A little bit of mentoring about what it is to be involved in the community and for everybody to be on board. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've been like dreaming to come here since year seven. Working out what angles and what pressure is best, how much water. We want you to be stretching yourself in different areas. Build those foundations to be really successful at year 11 and then really successful at year 12. The top tip is to not to come in with like a set mindset, thinking you're going to achieve this and this. Yeah, and I think definitely um, learning studies teachers definitely help because that's kind of your home group. So it's the teacher you go to if you have if you need any help. Be prepared for anything and embrace any opportunity you get. I don't know what to say. I see it as a bit like a Formula One team, that the student's the driver, we're like the pit crew. We have to talk about all the different variables. Along with the parents, along with the student, along with us, that we work collaboratively to make sure they get their best results in the end. I'm just writing a letter to my future um, learning studies teacher so they can know more about me and who I am. Our learning studies people are really important. There's about 15 students in that group and they're with that teacher and that group of students for the three years. Those people become quite critical to support uh, the learning. So does anyone have any questions? How are the classes separated? So you have 300 minute lessons, including LSG, which is a bit shorter. It's good to see how the students at the ASMS work. I participate in the process of reviewing all the files of the students and then I uh, contact families to talk about how we can make the transition process smooth. They find their place very, very quickly, but it is a little bit uh, overwhelming at first and it can be a little bit daunting, but it was well worth pushing through. Learning studies all versus 16. They get very social very quickly. How are you doing? And we want them to assimilate with our 11s and 12s. We also need to differentiate that these are still young learners. We need to give them the skills to become self-directed learners. Red team. Oh yeah, I'm super excited about coming to this school. I've met a lot of people who seem really awesome.